Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to talk about when is the best time to transplant mums. Now chrysanthemums have been around for many, many centuries, and they have a deep tradition with almost every culture in the world. They're highly edible. The leaves are used in many different cultures and many different dishes. Mums are beautiful presents too, and they're given as Mother's Day gifts and gifts any time of the year, and you see them in the fall all the time with beautiful flowers on them and in all the fall colors. And they're just a beautiful plant. But they can be grown outside too. So whenever you buy them or you get them as a house plant, always save them and turn around and place them in your garden. So my rule of thumb is as long as they're blooming, I don't transplant them. Because when you transplant plants when they're blooming, sometimes you shock them or you don't water them enough or they lose the blooms or they get damaged. So I always wait until they're done blooming and they start turning brown or they don't look quite good enough. So an easy trick too, I found, and sometimes you can get more blooms out of them, as soon as the blooms look bad, just chop the blooms out, but leave some greenery there. And a lot of times they'll grow new lush greenery again. So when you're transplanting them outside, the natural time would be to do it in the late fall, even in the middle of winter, because they bloom until Thanksgiving half the time in the Northwest outside until it freezes really hard. And then they kind of die back and turn to mush. So when they die back, you just chop them down to the ground. Or if they're still lush and green, I just chop them down to wherever they're green and they still look alive. But they will come back every year no matter what you do to them. They're just beautiful. And I love my chrysanthemums. And you can always transplant them any time of the year if you're moving or you're giving a start to a friend. I always say transplant them when you think about it because you probably have a huge plant or a lot of plants. And even if you transplant them and you might lose some of the blooms that first year, if you really want to give them as a gift or someone wants to start, then it's always the right time to transplant them.